another cloudy day again oh boy Good morning everybody, this is Organic Damon. Welcome to my channel today. Today is Wednesday, October 2nd, and uh, you can see it has got done unloading the augers out of my uh, brother's pickup truck there. And um, then I put the other stuff to there's some more hard there's some more hardware. I'll show you what it looks like here. Just a second. If you guys can see this, I don't know how well the lighting is going to be in here. But, uh, yeah, we got some bearing holders. And, and these are the, these are the uh, end, the cutter wheel that cut keep the stuff off the walls and stuff. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, anyways, um, we just got the call cow up there in the uh, lot up there and there are a place we're gonna load it, load it we're just waiting for my cousins to come get it so anyways that's what we're probably gonna be doing anyway here this morning and then I don't know what we're gonna do the rest of the day but chores and maybe this silo we'll see what happens okay guys let's get in and let's get in the barn and get milked Come on, let's go. It's starting to rain out a little bit. Come on, 146. Come on, girls. Let's go where you belong. Come on, 383. You know where you go. Yep, 347. You're so far from your st stall that, well, you're just you're far away. Come on, 286. What are you doing way down here, girl? You even further away from your stall. Come on. alone right now my brother he's obviously um, he took the cows a load of cattle to the sales barn um, including including the call call that we had so yeah I'm milking alone it's uh it was raining out just a little bit ago yeah it's still kind of just a real light there's a really light rain out right now so um, yeah, so here I am, milking alone, and he'll he'll be back. He should be coming back here pretty soon. It's like, as we got going sooner this morning, so um, he should be coming back. Um, I would think within the next, I don't know, maybe an hour within the next hour he should be back home. So maybe sooner. <laughs> Supply guy is here. Yep. Oh! 
oh boy I fell asleep there for a second oh sorry guys I know I'm lazy I fell asleep on you Whew. oh my it's kind of warm out or put the heater on in here and you just get a little sleepy <laughs> yeah yeah I am actually kind of tired. Uh, yeah. Anyways, um, you, probably, you just saw a little bit ago, my brother, he was cleaning up the concrete there. Um, the dry cow lot. And I'm just loading up the feeder wagon here right now for the uh, young stock. And then we're going to have to chop another load of hay. I forgot, or not a load of hay, another load of corn silage here. Got to, I forgot to mention that earlier. So, um, yeah, so for the thing we're gonna do, and I'm gonna try and get into the silo and get that auger, the other augers off of there. We're gonna try to get in there and do that. It's gonna take a little bit, a little bit of elbow grease, I think, to get it, but we'll get it. Yeah, so. I'm gonna get this finished up and load, start loading for the cows, and then I guess my brother here probably go out and chop the corn silage, and then I'm gonna go work at the silo. Yep, I'd rather go take a nice long nap. That's what I'd rather do. Taking a nap doesn't get anything done except I guess you get a little rest, but that's about it. It is. Um, it's raining out. If you haven't noticed, if you haven't noticed that, maybe you didn't. <laughs> it's. Uh, it's just kind of a light rain out. Plus, it's getting foggy out right now, and it is just. It's just sloppy out. Just sloppy everywhere. But at least the loader tractor got a bath. Yeah, you got a little bath. You got it washed off in the rain. But, but then it's under carriage is getting a little bit muddy, but uh, yeah Anyways, yeah, I just got done putting the silage on we just went out and chopped some probably shouldn't have but I don't like chopping when it's it was it wasn't It was a real light rain out when we were chopping where was, my brother went out and chopped and um, But it wasn't too bad, but I just don't like chopping for some reason when it's wet it dulls the knives on the cutter a little bit, but so, I mean, it's nothing you can do about it. We needed a little feed. We just chopped enough that, for what we need. I think tomorrow's not supposed to be that way. But, anyways, I think I'm going to go up and quick do a little stuff on the silo. It, uh, I don't know, it's like after 6 o'clock. I don't know. <clears throat> My cousin was just over here a little bit ago, and he got the, came back over to get the skid loader, which we own half and half so he needed it for something i don't know what but so anyways we were visiting with him for about 15 20 minutes so that shoots up time when you visit but uh anyways i'm gonna go and uh get go 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 and look at the silo and maybe um see if i can get a little something done on here yet today the day just kind of has a way of getting away from a person sometimes There. Oh, there you go. I got gotcha. you. Okay, I'm blinding you with this lighting. I, let me turn you turn you around here. Okay. What am I gonna need for parts? See this thing. I know I have to push this thing back like that. There we are. And if you guys can see that, these are these cutting wheels. They have to get replaced. Um, 
Yep, I gotta replace those. And then I gotta replace these bearing holders. I got all the stuff in there. I think I showed you that earlier. And then there's just a bolt here, a bolt there. I gotta take out. But oh man, this thing, the, really, the flighting on here is really thin. But like I say, this, this metal right here, it's just paper thin. These things have been in here. Um, these augers have been in here probably for, and when we, we got this silent loader, we bought it used in 2006, it was like 13 years ago. So, um, and I don't know how long these augers were on there before that when we got it used. And these could be 15, 16 years old. So it's, it's seen a lot of use. But uh, yeah, so a little rain coming in in here even. There's a few holes in the roof up there and there's one there. Not too many, just a little tiny hole. But yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna need here. I, you think I need a three-quarter wrench? Ah, let me push this back. Oh, there's a thing of five-eighths, nine-sixteenths. Yep. So, anyway, I am gonna, I am going to get the stuff lubed up here, and um, I don't know. I'll see what I get done here, then I'll get back with you. I might run this video into the next day, or tomorrow, we'll see here. Okay, I didn't get any of the, excuse me, I didn't get the augers off. Um, of course, here's the new ones, I just set them in here, because it's raining out. And uh, I wanted to show you, oh, it's so dark in here, I apologize. I wish it was lighter, but, well, I got a light in my head. What am I thinking? There. These are the new wall chippers, as they call them. Let's see. They screw on like this. And if I could get you guys to see this, I don't know. You can see the old ones. There's the new ones. And there is the old ones. Yeah. Those things are really wore down. And. There's a lot of crap on the walls, if you can see, oops, that's why there's not, that's why a lot of the stuff is sticking to the walls in here, so, anyways, what I did, is I got the augers, I tied them up, so, I think what I'm going to do is just get the cutting torch, not tonight, but maybe tomorrow, get the cutting torch, cut those off, and get those, but I tied them up so that they won't drop on the ground, and so, yeah, I, I would go in there, but I just, <laughs> uh, I was just in there, and it's so hard to climb in and out of that thing. But these, these new augers are definitely, definitely way better. Yeah, they weld, I don't know what that is. An insert in there, the thickness of that is what, a quarter inch or something like that. But, yeah. So, um, yeah. So, anyways, I think I'm going to call it quits. I think I'm just going to run this video into tomorrow. It is just, it's wet out. So, I don't feel like there was a lot going on here today. So, I'm going to do that then. And we'll see what happens tomorrow. So, over and out. Hey, good morning guys. It is another day. Day is October 3rd and how is, well, how is everybody doing today? Hey, quiet calf. How's everybody doing here again today? Um, I forgot to mention in the first part of this video that actually it was yesterday from my viewpoint but to you the same video but we had a set of twins born yesterday a girl and a boy 
Yep, so we got another set of twins, and it was a new mom that had the calf, and uh, she happened to be a heifer. I don't know, I should say, it was a new mom again that had the twins, like a heifer, so, yep, so we got, um, oh, we got that situation again. We've had a lot of twins this year, and I don't know why, but, uh, yes, we have had a lot of twins. So, I decided I'd show that to you before I forgot. We get going here today in the video. Uh, we're just going to go in here with, uh, ready to start, we're ready to start milking here in just a little bit. And, uh. You hear these guys over here, they're bellowing. They just got weaned a couple, uh, yesterday, no, a couple days ago now. So they're hungry for milk. They missed their milk. And so, yeah, isn't that right, girl? You're looking for milk. But you're not going to get no more. No. That's what you call getting weaned. Weaned off the bottle. Yeah. So, yep. So some of the baby calves got moved over there. We got this cleaned out the other day. I forgot to show you, tell you that too. We got this all cleaned out. So, anyways, um, yep, we're gonna get going here with milking, and then see as the day progresses. It's mostly cloudy today. The sun has been trying to peek out a little bit, but and there's a 50% chance of rain on Saturday again. So, one more day to go of this, and then things are supposed to turn around. Okay, I'm. Uh, Kind of doing an odd job right now. Um, I'm kind of doing two jobs at the same time. I was working at, I just got done feeding the milk cows. Anyways, it's probably better if I just show you here first. Anyways, today I need to use the torch. And uh, anyways, I need to wheel it down there to the feed room, to the, or down by the silo. Anyways, I needed to air up the tires. This tire, I got aired up. I don't know, it still might have a small leak in it. Maybe I'm gonna have to take that one off. But anyways, I had to take the tire off that side because this tube that fits in, you know, the tire for the, the side that I just showed you, well, in this tire here, um, has a small little hole. Uh, let's see, right there. Where I circled it, I circled it, and I ground it off anyways. So I have a tire patch here, so I'm gonna put that on there and some glue and get it on there and why I'm why I'm doing my feeding chores the glue and the tire patch will dry and stick and hopefully it work but I think I'm gonna put the other tire off. I thought I was gonna hold air maybe I'll hold air up just long enough for me to get it down there I don't know I'll see I think I don't know if we got I don't know if we got any more tire patches like this so yep so I'm gonna quick stick this on here and then go back to my feeding chores um, because I don't want to be, I, I, otherwise it's going to be very hard to wheel that torch down there. It just, well, if you got a flat tire, it just doesn't work too well. It takes a little extra energy to move it. Okay, as you can see, I got it on and, uh, one thing is when you get this this glue is you always want to put it on there and let it dry just for a little bit before you put the tire patch on and then you're supposed to have some tool that you're supposed to help get all the air pockets out but I didn't have that on me I think it's up in my brother's house but I just do use my thumbs to get all the air out of it so that it it bonds to the tire and also too you're always supposed to grind grind around it a little bit it helps the patch to stick a little better, but take a little grind. I used a little die grinder and ground it. So we'll let this patch, let it dry, and then um, we'll try airing it up. I'll put the uh, valve valve stem core back in right, right there, and then we'll air it up, and hopefully it holds air, and then it won't be so laborsome to move that torch around. Sylvester, you must really want a tractor ride, don't you? Okay. That's a lot of tractor ride. Okay. I got the cutting torch 
down here and boy that roll a lot better this one tire it still has a slow leak in it but it wasn't leaking as fast as the other one so i got that other one to hold the patch worked so it holds so um anyways um i gotta go run to town here quick um our wash machine is broke down i ordered the part the other day and it's they they called a little while ago and said it's in so i'm gonna run in and go get that part i don't know for some reason my wife she doesn't want to go get it so she wants me to get it so so anyways i'm gonna put this on hold for a little bit but at least i got the torch down here and when i get back i'm gonna start uh start cutting in the uh I'm gonna get those augers off. It won't take too long. It won't take very long with the fire wrench. So, anyways, way back and hopefully a little bit. Okay, I'm in the silo and I'm gonna um, start cutting so I guess my wife she did go to town and go get it so I didn't have to so as you saw I did get it installed so actually I don't know if it's gonna work yet for sure um, I just turned it on and I'm gonna see if it um, well if it doesn't spin it won't it won't um, uh, the water probably won't be drained all out of there or something like that but so it should work that should have fixed the problem so anyway um i am going to get ready or start cutting here the torch i got the, everything down in here and um so i just gotta cut i can't see there i gotta cut one two three four bolts here this will drop down then i got two bolts I got these bolt and that bolt to cut, and uh, yeah, we'll get her down. So, so look out, there's gonna be some fire. <laughs> Okay, I got the old ones out. Now I just gotta put the new ones in. But holy moly, that ever a nightmare. All I can say is, uh, where did I put those other pieces? Oh, these. All I can say is, right here on the ends, it's best to put anti-seize in there. Anti-seize, it just makes. Oh man, does that make a whole world of difference? Make it so much easier. Every bolt that goes in to that new one is gonna have anti-seize on it. Every thread, whatever, is 
It's gonna have anti season. I'm not gonna. If we have to take them back out again someday, we won't have to fight it. That just makes it so much easier. But so, I think I'm gonna grab a quick a quick bite to eat, and then I'm gonna. I have to. Have, my brother has to help me get them back in because there's no way I could get those back in by myself. Um, getting them out wasn't so bad, but just getting them in, I need two people. Okay, um, no, we didn't get the uh, augers on here. Um, I, well, we tried. I, there's something extra I had to do on here. Uh, let me show you here in just a second. Um, okay, I said I gotta have more than one light in here. Yeah, I had to take these bolts for these wheels, both of them, I had to take them off. But I had to take the torch, heat them up to get them off, and so that's taking up time. It's, it's getting late, and um, but we have the augers right here. They're ready to go up. I got everything ready to receive. Oh, I got to put some more anti-seize on that. I thought I had enough on there. And uh, But yeah, I'm putting anti-seize in, in there and there and then on here, just doubling it up so that way it doesn't come off. Yeah, I just got to put the end plates on there. We're going to, but it uh, just, it ain't going to happen here tonight. So, um, so yeah. Oh, I don't want to blind you. So it's getting kind of late. So um, we're going to quit. Um, I, I would have gotten more done here, but after I got done eating, I just had a bad headache. I just had to take a little, take a little siesta for a little bit. Now my head feels better after I did that. So anyways, we're just going to call it quits for in here for tonight. Um, it's like 9.30, so it's time to quit. And um, we'll get it done tomorrow. Um, so not much left. Just lift them up there and put the end plates on on the end. These uh, things on in the end. We'll hold those up there. So... Um, yeah so anyways um, get over here so you can see me better and uh yeah so anyways that's it for this video guys so i hope you enjoy it and you like can say tomorrow we'll finish this thing up and tomorrow is friday not saturday <laughs> i was a little bit ahead of myself this morning so anyways guys that's it so Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Organic Dairyman. And um, check out all my other videos and share any of my videos with a friend or family member. And thanks to everybody that's hitting that subscribe button. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I, appreciate, I just appreciate it so much when you take the time to hit that subscribe button. And uh, I hope, I know this video, I don't even know how long it's going to be, but I just... I just decided to do a two-day video, I guess. <laughs> so, anyways, that's it. So, have a good night. Take care, and...